Now, let's go to my pick six. Your boy, boy, black pick six. Now, I don't pick the easy games either. I like to pick an upset, too. There's always at least one upset. Here's my pick six for this week. Packers, Eagles, I'm going with the Packers. Panthers, Saints. Saints are at home. I'm going with D.C. I got to go with Derek Carr. You got to have a good season this year. No excuses. Or you're going to be what everybody said you was, just a middle-tier quarterback. You need to make that step up there right now. It's not like it's a bunch of great quarterbacks in the league right now. So you got to make that step. You are a veteran quarterback, so you got to do – you got to show out this year, D.C. So I'm picking you to win your opener at home to make the team, the home fans happy. Jags and Dolphins. People, I've been telling y'all about the Jags for I don't know how long. The Jags and the Dolphins. I think the Dolphins is overrated, especially once it gets to be the end of the season. They're going to come out electric, but the Jags, they got something to prove. They've been making incremental steps. Now I've seen they've thrown my boy up into the top-tier quarterbacks. So, Sunshine, you got to do your thing. I'm going with the Jags. Raiders, Chargers. This is going to be an interesting game. The Raiders should win this game, but Harbaugh is with the Chargers, and I think that that's going to help their quarterback situation because they swear Justin Herbert is one of them top-tier quarterbacks, and I just think he ain't him, and he we got his number, so I'm going with the Raiders. The Cowboys and the Browns. This is an interesting game. I think that the Cowboys, <laughs> they're the most, America's dysfunctional team. That's what I'm going to call them. America's dysfunctional team. Because they should beat the Browns here, but they're going to lose to the Browns. The Browns are at home. I think Amari going to go crazy. Jerry Jones just do too much. Like, you can't get continuity with your team when you're playing with your p players' money. And you and everybody know you're going to give them the money. You just got to draw the line in the sand so that way you can make sure they know who the boss is. He, get a, he gets a pin and draws a line down the middle of the table. But we know who the boss is, the one who got the check, so not the one who signed it in this situation. So I'm going to go with the Browns to beat the Cowboys. Now, the Jets and Niners, the Jets and Niners, Aaron Rodgers coming back, playing in the Bay. You know he's from the Bay. So... Is he going to be able to take down the Niners? Uh, I don't think so, but I didn't talk to a, a Niner fan or two, and they just high on their team again. So, look, for the Niners, it's Super Bowl of bust right now because y'all have been all in the playoffs. Y'all think y'all have all the parts together, and y'all think y'all have the Super Bowl caliber team. I don't want to hear nothing about playoffs, wins, or nothing. It's all about Super Bowl this year for the Niners. If y'all don't win the Super Bowl, I don't want to hear it. So I'm going with the Niners in that game, though. I'm going to go with the Niners. And you guys disagree with any of them picks right there? Any of them picks? <laughs>